In a few minutes, the latest movie news from Hollywood, which will include a look at the preparations for the liftoff of Apollo 13, starring Tom Hanks. A glass of the unusual, sir? What is it? Enigma Draft Lager from Guinness. Very smooth. I have to go now. My giraffe is on fire. Where exactly are your shock absorbers? Would you know if they needed replacing? More to the point, would you know if they didn't? At ATS, we guarantee we'll only replace what needs replacing, and at a price you can afford. People say you're lucky to have shiny hair, but there's more to it than luck. Now, just before we fly into Hollywood for all the movie news, here are the latest news headlines with Dennis Tui. An 84-year-old man from Banstead in Surrey will appear before Epsom magistrates today charged with four counts of murdering Jews during the Second World War. Simeon Serafinovich is the first British resident to be charged with war crimes under the War Crimes Act of 1991. The offences are alleged to have been committed in villages in Nazi-occupied Bielorussia between 1941 and 42. The first Bosnian Muslim refugees from the fallen enclave of Srebrenica have started to arrive in Bosnian government-held territory. Bosnian government radio reported that about a thousand women and children, separated from the men by Serb forces, had arrived at Kladanj, about 30 kilometres southeast of Tuzla. Many had made the journey on coaches and trucks that had been ordered into them by Bosnian Serbs, but some 80 women and children had to walk the 50 kilometres from Srebrenica. The Guardian's pollsters, ICM, have apologised for an error in figures published yesterday which seriously understated the improvement in Conservative fortunes since John Major's victory in the leadership election. The corrected figures show Labour leading the Tories by 15%. The lead is roughly half what it was in June, and it's the lowest since September last year. That's all for the moment. I'll be back with more news later. In half an hour, America's top ten, followed by Sport AM and coverage of the golf championships in Ireland. But first, we touch down on Hollywood.